Call the 12th regular meeting of the City Council to order. Roll call that clerk. Council Bob, Council President Council Chakunas, President Council Colucci, President Council Craig, President Council Sia, President Council Ford, Absent Council Rosie, President Council Annette, President, President Council Trahan, President. Just like to uh, uh, alert the members that Council of Barton had contacted me earlier today. Uh, it looks as though uh, he and his, uh, his family will be enjoying a new addition to the family today. Uh, Best of luck. We wish you to be here. But I think uh, being in a, in a place where good life is being born to the earth is a solemn occasion. He's in the right place. So he gives his regrets, but we think he's made the right decision tonight. Will we all stand for a moment of silence, please? Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Whoa. 
Um, the next song is going to be I'll Be There by Jackson.
Council. I want to thank the mayor for this appointment. One of the few times I would really 100% agree on something. Andy is going to be a great employee asset for the DPW. I've worked with him at the water resource council of Brown County. Extremely responsive. Yes, thank you for uh, putting your faith in me, and I look forward to serving you all. Do a good job, and uh, come and show it. Thank you. Any other comments or questions for Mr. Hall? John? Yeah, we have to shop shelves on the We're advised to not give your cell phone number out at a council meeting, do that in private. So, Hall, you joined by you joined by some of this afternoon because we all know behind that good man is a Great woman, so I believe that your wife is here as well, am I correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. the job to her.
State your name clearly for the record as well as your address. Union Council of Michael Dunham, 58 Starrett Road, and Chief of Inspectional Services. And I wish to speak in favor of the home petition to reorganize the Inspectional Services Department. The Inspectional Services Department was created in 1999, implemented in 2004, and has been in effect effective assistance for 11 years. Over the course of the 11 years, there have been changes in the structure and duties of the Inspectional Services Department, as well as changes in the way other departments in different communities perform their duties. This management reorganization plan has been presented to you in an effort to accommodate changes in operations and to increase departmental effectiveness and efficiency. The plan has been presented to the Chamber of Commerce and the limited of this partnership who supported this reorganization. I would further like to mention that this management reorganization does not require any layoffs or reductions in force. In fact, bargaining has been completed with the full body of the department, and the reorganization does not increase any individual's compensation. This reorganization has been organized so that the form of each division reflects its function and that ultimately each division has a management employee who is responsible for that division's operations. The inspection division will contain all inspectors to increase operations, coordination and efficiency, along with continuous improvements, and increased response to residents' requests and business needs. The public health division will focus their efforts on community health awareness, grants, public health clinic, and the facilities division has been created to recognize the effects of the transfer of custodians and maintenance workers to the inspection of service department. <coughs> this division has become the department's largest division with 90 employees responsible for the maintenance of all public buildings. Thank you for your consideration in this matter, and I respectfully request your consideration in approving this inspection of services on the reorganization and events available to answer any questions that you may have. Thank you, Mr. Dunham. Anyone else wishing to speak in favor? Anyone wishing to speak in favor? Anyone wishing to speak in favor? Seeing no one wishing to speak in favor, I close the public hearing for those wishing to speak in favor. I open the public hearing for those wishing to speak in opposition. Anyone in opposition? Anyone in opposition? Seeing no one wishing to speak in opposition, I close the public hearing for those wishing to speak in opposition. I close the public hearing. What is the wish of the council? Motion approved. Is there a motion to approve by Council Ford and seconded by Council Ford? With that, Discussion in the series. Discussion? Any discussion? Seeing no discussion. Roll call. Council Barton, absent Council Baker. Yes. Yes, Council Pano. Yes. Yes, Council Tacubis. Yes. Yes, Council Bluchi. Yes. Yes, Council Brighton. Yes. Yes, Council Sear. Yes. Yes, Council Ford. Yes. Yes, Council Losey. Yes. Yes, Council Net. Yes. Yes, Council Tremont. Thank you. I neglected to state that the Linear Chamber of Commerce had sent over a letter of support. I did see Chairman uh, Tasso leaving the lobby list here earlier. Uh, I think he exited the stage left as a performance. Uh, so I'll submit that also for the record. Councilor Price. Mr. President, I also believe the members of the Fire Chief support as well, so I'd like that to be included in the record as well. Thank you, Councilor Price. You are correct. I apologize. I did not have that before me. I did see that letter in the email. Thank you for the correction. Next public hearing. Public hearing on the FY15 budget. Any of those wishing to speak in favor, please come to the podium, say your first and last name and your residence for the record. We would like to duly recognize the mayor of the city of Lynn. Thank you. My name is Judy Flanagan Kennedy. I reside at 23 Buchanan Circle. Um, and I'm here to speak in favor of this budget. It was a very, very tough budget to put together. Um, aware of the net school spending issues that the city has had to contend with. Um, nonetheless, we were able to do this without any layoffs of employees. We do have one contract employee who has not been removed. Um, but we were able to increase the school's budget by almost 10% while cutting most of the other department budgets about 2%. Um, everybody's office supply budget got cut between 10 and 15 percent. Uh, there were some departments that necessarily had to take a harder hit than others. In particular, um, the police and fire department were severely cut in terms of overtime and in terms of new vehicle purchase. The DPW was also cut in new vehicle purchases. Um, but as I said, the budget at the very least preserves the jobs that we have here in the city. Um, and uh, increases the school budget by almost 10%. Any 
and I will be around to answer any questions that the council might have in the course of the budget discussion. Thank you. Anyone else wish to speak in favor? Anyone else wish to speak in favor? Seeing no one else wish to speak in favor, I close the public hearing for those wish to speak in favor. I open the public hearing for those wish to speak in opposition. Anyone in opposition? Anyone in opposition? Seeing no one wish to speak in opposition, I close the public hearing for those wish to speak in opposition. I close the public hearing. What is the wish of the council? The motion to approve. It's been a motion to approve by council. Will you say by council on that? Discussion. Council of Fortune. May I ask a quick question? Yeah. Yes. I seem to be obsessed with the DDW's name. I'm just, I'm really overwhelmed lately. The worst I've ever been on with constituent services. And um, I feel like we need more bodies. I can't keep up with the tree I know the one truck and the budget is stopping that. I was wondering if you have any feelings down the road if we'd be able to get some men to work. I think part of our problem with the efficiency of the DPW is the efficiency and not the number of bodies that are there. Because if you look back, I looked back all the way to FY 2009, and the FY 2014 and the FY 2015 budgets both have, I believe it's 47 full-time employees. Those two years are the highest in the last six or seven years. Now, as you know, we've had interim DPW commissioners for the last couple of years. Um, so I think part of the problem with the DPW's seeming inability to get to all of the um, projects that have been requested of them is simply that we don't have, haven't had the consistent leadership at the top that we need to utilize those 47 bodies efficiently. And we've all met Andy Hall tonight, some of you have known Andy Hall far longer than that, and I'm completely confident that once Andy takes the helm, starting July 1st, we definitely will have um, those backlogs taken care of. Um, he's a good hands-on administrator, and um, as I said, it, it's not for lack of bodies that the DPW isn't, isn't getting the jobs done in a timely manner. Any further questions from the mayor? Questions from the mayor. Seeing no further questions from the mayor. Any further questions? Councilor Seat. I have a question. Thanks. This is the most difficult time of year for us. Energy or no doubt. We all want like to see more money in the area, we inspire our schools, and you know, we were always in the city. We don't like the budget, but I also have a concern for the time.
what year this is and also that we have the ability as a council to make any difference. But I'm not able to support this project simply because of the request of police, the fire of the DPW, uh, that good ask that I'm moving forward in there to invest to help you all those departments, not to leave over the laws. Thank you. Any further questions? See no further questions. Follow up. Council Batten? Yes. And Council Cahill? Yes. Yes. Council Capano? Yes. Yes. Council Chaputis? Yes. Yes. Council Colucci? Yes. Yes. Council Brighton? No. No. Council Sia? Yes. Yes. Council Ford? Yes. Yes. Council Wolsey? Yes. Yes. Council Nett? Yes. Yes. Council Trahan? Yes. 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 Public hearings will be set down then. We have two public hearings to be set down. Petition of Holy Family Churches, Coast Midway Amusements, Reverend Gregory Material. Fiesta Italiano, 26 Bessel Street on August 7th, 8th and 9th, Thursday and Friday, 6 to 10 p.m. and Saturday, 12 to 10 p.m. in an ordinance amending the City of Windsor on the to the floodplain districts. Council Sears. Four of the motions. A question. Blank. Michael Dunn. Mr. Dunn. So, uh, motion to suspend the rules. May 2nd. Motion to suspend it. Mr. Dunn. Set down public hearing on the application of zoning for the flood. Is that the new theme of the flood zone now? Yes. So, my council and my lot is going to be extremely impacted by that. It's actually because of another community. And it's going to be, you know, I have a real understanding that we won't get funding, but in the way of that, Set up. And on us, it's irresponsible for people who set that map up because of the type of devastation that they just talked about in that area. It would be a storm that would have been 10 times greater than the storm of 78. But then you have to have a neighbor around it. It's going to increase the insurance. And so, you know, I'm going to make the most of the table for this until the Congress. Extremely flooded areas, and 
that we call this place our capital nine. And they tell you we have concern. That's what we have to do to address their concerns. So, now, I know I'm taking up the words and I'm going to make a motion to prove that uh, the public hearings, there's only different churches involved in that motion. So. You want to get out of the fiesta? Motion to approve. Is that a motion to be seconded in discussion and see that in the roll call? Council Patton, absent Council Kaga, yes, yes Council Pagano, yes Council Chakudis, yes, yes Council Colucci, yes, yes Council Craig, yes, yes Council Sia, yes, yes Council Floyd, yes, yes Council Losey, yes, yes Council Net, yes, yes Council Tanan, yes, yes, and yes. Council Sia. I would like to request that at that hearing that someone from the Congressman Attorney's office be here that night and uh, maybe you can send a Send somebody from her office here that night so they can actually hear our concerns. Absolutely. On uh, Tuesday, the Senate is the House and Senate meeting session, so we will be able to have some from our offices. We will not go up the issues to be there present and things like that. So, and I know it's really a lot of hands on these issues sometimes, but we have some down to Any requests from anyone from the female you know of? Female wants to send some. We'll put a request in first. I know there's been a young lady uh, trying to get us to approve these guys for some time, which probably might fall away it's so late because I've been putting it off for the last possible day. It, it might bring those maps. Expense accounts and 
guys the NPFL's Friday yes, transfer the sum of one dollar and zero cents from the reserve account to the license commission payroll account, certifies an available fund the amount of eighty-two thousand three hundred twenty-three dollars and twenty cents as allotted to the City Lynn Police Department by the Department of Mental Health and Jail Diversion Grant Program, Grant Period 14 to 6.30.50, and an auto resolution of the governing body of the City of Lynn authorizing the execution and delivery of an equipment lease slash purchase agreement with respect to the acquisition, purchase, finance, and leasing of certain equipment for the public benefit, authorizing the execution and delivery of documents required in connection therewith and authorizing the taking of all other actions necessary to the consummation of the transactions contemplated by this order slash resolution. What's the motion to counsel? Oh, oh sorry. Counselor. Counselor is here. It's a unanimous vote by the committee. Everybody follow along with who's going to give the talk. Sure. I make a motion to move the second. There's a major movement saying that counselor is not. Thank you. Any discussion? Seeing the roll call. Counselor Byron, absent. Counselor Cahill. Yes, Council Picano. Yes, Council Chakudis. Yes. Yes, Council Pellucci. Yes. Yes, Council Crichton. Yes. Yes, Council Sia. Yes. Yes, Council Ford. Yes. Yes, Council Losey. Yes. Yes, Council Nett. Yes. Yes, Council Chanan. Yes. 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 Now the emergency. Motion approved. Motion approved. And second by Council Chakudis. So I'll be discussion. See you then. Roll call. Council Patton. Yes. Council Cahill. Yes. Yes, Council Picano. Yes. Yes, Council Chakudis. Yes, Council Pellucci. Yes. Yes, Council Craig. Yes. Yes, Council Sam. Yes. Yes, Council Boyle. Yes. Yes, Council Wilson. Yes. Yes, Council Net. Yes. Yes, Council Turner. Yes. Yes, and yes. Thank you. Safety. Following individual was appointed Constable Lauren DeBella, Lynn Mass, and Council Sierra Chair. Council Sierra. Section 
55, Chapter 59, the extended through the fiscal year 2016 and the effect of the fiscal year 2015. Sincerely, Jim Flanagan, Kennedy, and Mayor. I'd like to bring up Mr. Karen to explain exactly what this is. Yes, uh, Clause 56, uh, Section 5, Chapter 59, uh, allows the assessors to uh, uh, exempt up to 100% of the taxes on any service plan who serves 45 days or more overseas, either a National Guardsman or a Reservist. Uh, the assessors can establish guidelines and, uh, on this. And the, the problem is we've had this in place for two years now. Uh, we've helped out a few servicemen. We, uh, essentially, the assessors have adopted a policy of, of reducing anyone's taxes by 50% in the serving overseas. Uh, the problem is the statute has a, su a sunset clause in it, which expires on June 30th. So we would not be able to give it to any additional servicemen starting uh, with fiscal year 15 unless the council were to uh, re-adopt it for another two-year period. So that's our intention. Maintain what we already have. We've been able to help a number of servicemen already with their tax burden while they served on active duty, and we'd like to be able to continue that assistance. Council Devon. Yes, uh, I'd just like to say that Mr. Karen's been great over the years in finding these tax uh, benefits to veterans and, and also keeping us up to date now. Right? So, so I'd like to make a motion to uh, second. Any further discussion? Council Baden, absent Council Plato. Yes. Yes, Council Pano. Yes. Yes, Council Chakudas. Yes. Yes, Council Pulci. Yes. Yes, Council Craig. Yes. Yes, Council Sia. Yes. Yes, Council Ford. Yes. Yes, Council Walls. Yes. Yes, Council Neck. Yes. Yes, Council Tonan. Yes. Yes. Ten yes. Council Pano, motion for emergency. Yes. Motion for yes. emergency. Yes. Second of Council Sia. Discussion seeing no roll call. Council Baden, absent Council Plato. Yes. Yes, Council Yes. Yes, Council Pulci. Yes. Yes, Council Craig. Yes. Yes, Council Sia. Yes. Yes, Council Ford. Yes. Yes, Council Lozzi. Yes. Yes, Council Nett. Yes, Council Tornado. Yes. Question. Let's take off the table. Yes. The motion to take off the table is Green Street, Action 410. Petition. Would you like me to read it? Yes. Fourth Petition. Uh, petition of Philadelphia's Kitchen, 410 Green Street. Uh, in accordance with section 12.1 of the zoning ordinance, we established a service for alcohol beverages in addition to food served. And the petitioner's name is Hussein Oranella and Emilia Garcia. Council, did you receive communication earlier today? And that communication stated what? Record reflect the petitioner has withdrawn the petition. For the record, we need a federal Requires a roll call. Please call the roll. Council Fabinex and Council Cahill. Yes. Yes, Council Pachano. Yes. Yes, Council Chakudis. Yes, Council Colucci. Yes. Yes, Council Brighton. Yes. Yes, Council Sia. Yes. Yes, Council Ford. Yes. Yes, Council Lozzi. Yes. Yes, Council Neck. Yes. Yes, Council Tremont. Yes. Yes, ten yes. No business. No business. I would just like to remind everyone that the Fourth of July celebration will be July 3rd. City of Lynn fireworks begin promptly at 9 p.m. The show drive will be closed approximately at 6:30. For further details of road closures, please go to our city website. I wish you all a very happy and safe Fourth of July. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Council Lucci, seconded by everyone. All those people say aye. Those last have it.